Okay, let's take five minutes to go over this. My name is Bernie Pobiak. I have been a lifelong entrepreneur, providing business solutions, large and small, nationwide and locally, by always being able to optimize the way systems and deals work, from every side and for every side. You need my background, I'm a tech guy, but my first big business started just delivering mailing machines, but ended up a company that received, tested, delivered, and installed most of the office automation equipment sold in Washington, D.C. in the 70s and 80s. Next, I created another company to run data cables for the Wang systems that we were already installing. From that, I ended up figuring out a unique fire code safe coaxial cable that was needed to be run in regular office ceiling plenums without being inside of metal conduit for the fire codes, resulting in millions of feet manufactured, sold, and installed under sole source government contracts by my company. Now, after those companies were sold, when early internet and personal computers were gaining a foothold in homes, I created the first fully functional internet bookstore and electronic book software that retained the original print pages, contents, and ind indices, and allowed printed books to be scanned, edited, custom compiled, and then delivered over the internet in less than a minute. Sound familiar? In the mid-90s, this technology ended up being purchased by the U.S. Congress to produce all the K-12 through textbooks for blind schools nationwide. Then living in Manhattan, and because of my reputation for creating unique solutions, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey contracted with my company, Soul Source again, for design, creation, and maintenance of their very first websites for all the New York City airports, the World Trade Center, all the Manhattan bus terminals, the PATH subway system, and all the bridges and tunnels crossing the Hudson River and more. I first created the concept, then was contracted to create PATH Vision, displaying specific station and track messages, system-wide information, and instant emergency messages on flat screens installed in each PATH subway station. That all took six years to complete. At that point, just before 9-11, I stopped having meetings in the World Trade Center every day. Now recently, I've taken inspiration from the residential compounds where I have been a guest over the years. Once you've experienced this kind of residential lifestyle, you really can't imagine having anything else. Those experience with compound estates has led to a completely unique, fully developed and ethical real estate play that creates them and that performs quickly and profitably without allowing any loss or liability. Now, when you own two adjacent residences, it's called a residential compound or family compound or compound estate. There's a whole lifestyle of privacy and flexibility and higher price that comes with having a main house and a guest house and both parcels of land. They are very rare because of the unrelenting holdouts and ridiculous prices demanded, even when just trying to buy your next door neighbor's house, much less from two adjacent owners at the same time. The value of having the lifestyle that this configuration of properties gives you when conveniently close into a desired urban center is unmistakable and makes your place the place that your grown family and friends want to visit, have a f events, vacations, etc. And that, of course, is priceless. Another plus, if times ever get tight, you can always sell one of them off without disturbing the other. Now, whenever houses are put up for sale, there's an asking price and then there's an accepted price, what they actually sell for. Uh, in the three to $5 million range, we've run reports for D DC and for Maryland that are shown here. In DC, the average sold price in the three to $5 million range is 94%, in Maryland, 91%. That means that the owners accepted minus $240,000 in D.C., minus $360,000 in Maryland as an average across all of the sales over the last four years in the three to $5 million range. Now, in the case of a compound sale, we have the house number one, which is the house that's already for sale next door. And that house we negotiate with normally so that what ends up as their contract is a normal contract negotiated down from the asking price to the negotiated price. But for our adjacent owner, their contract, on the other hand, because they are our partner in this process, their contract gets the extra price that is saved on the negotiation and put on top of their own price. As a result, their price becomes 13% more than it ever could be when ever sold alone. You have had this house for a long time now. I assume it has served you well during that time with raising kids, building a business life, and social contacts. 
Did you once feel you'd stay in this house forever? Do you now? While raising kids and building careers is definitely the center of your universe, but for most people, when their kids are out of the house and moved away on their own, the center of the world just sort of moves with them, you know? You probably feel deep inside that of the big things that matter now, this house has moved down the list. Well, if you're ever going to sell the house, this is the moment when you'll be able to make more money from the sale of your house by piggybacking on this compound plan than at any time in the future. My buyer partners and I are very anxious to speak with you and to pursue the compound project together. I think you will find that the meeting will be very instructive and helpful in making a lifetime decision, not through necessity, but rather for profit.